Your Excellency, Madam President, President of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, all protocols observed. I normally don't like to start something with a confession, but I believe I owe it to you. I owe it to you because the topic that we are discussing, just not in the next two days, but the theme that's going to be debated is so very relevant to our daily lives, I think it warrants some level of provocation, uh, to be very provocative. Uh, I was going to say controversy, then I realized, like what Madam uh, Garcia Marshall said, that maybe this is not the most appropriate time to be very controversial. But since I have the podium, I may as well say a few things so that we could actually really have a very meaningful discussion, but more importantly, looking at the vision for this particular conference, ensure that the outcomes are quite consistent with what Dr. Sefa Bekele and ACPF hope to achieve. Anne Frank, who died in a concentration camp at the age 15 during World War II, wrote the following in her diary. Hunger is not a problem, it's an obscenity. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. This was written almost 80 years ago in a concentration camp. And guess what we are talking about for the next couple of days? We are talking about hunger. We are talking about child hunger. So very prevalent, and it really warrants a narrative that we probably haven't had over the past so many decades. So at this gathering of the 8th International Policy Conference of the African Child, which is dedicated to the theme of child hunger, I sure hope we will demonstrate a different type of response. I hope that collectively we will be courageous, that we will ask difficult questions, that we will seek realistic solutions and find a way forward. Let me just start off by, uh, I really appreciate the very generous comments that Dr. Bekele made, but let me take a moment to talk a little bit about CCFC. The organization that I represent, CCFC, is a member of a global alliance called Child Fund Alliance. And we are also proud to say that we are a partner of the African Child Policy Forum. We have been in existence for 60 years. And we work in Africa, we work in the Americas, we work in Asia, uh, and for us, the the essence or the ethos of our approach to the work that we do is predicated on partnerships. Like Asifa rightly called out, it's very important we take a very progressive approach the way, in terms of looking at partnerships so that the agenda, that the collective agenda and the shared vision that we pursue is not about organizations, it's not about our logos or our egos, it's at the end of the day, it's about the mission that we are called to pursue. Like my colleague from Plan International has already talked about barriers, we too are focused on removing barriers to ensure that children, girls and boys have access, particularly to education. We work alongside children and youth to support thriving communities, to advance child rights and protection, promote equality for girls and partner with children for change. Now we do know that Access to food has a tremendous impact on scholastic achievement. I want to give you, for illustrative purposes, I want to give you one example to talk about what exactly CCFC is doing and the results that we are beginning to see. In a rural community in Burkina Faso, we have been running a lunch school program in 16 schools where all students get a nutritious meal. The result of this intervention has been that a school district which lagged in performance now ranks at the very top. We know that proper nutrition supports cognitive growth and that lack of food holds children back. That is why eradicating hunger will change the world. It's daunting that in a world of plenty, millions are still dying or suffering from hunger, malnutrition, and hunger-related diseases. Let me repeat that. In a world of plenty, we still have forums like this to talk about hunger and the need to eradicate hunger. A 
As many of us know, and as has already been said, a child dies from hunger every six seconds. Hunger kills more people every year than communicable diseases such as AIDS, malaria, and TB. There are lots of statistics. I'm not going to go through these statistics. It's already been mentioned. But I just want to take a moment and just talk about something that's so very pivotal as far as the discourse for this particular forum is concerned. Although hunger affects everyone, children are the most vulnerable. Malnutrition is a major cause of death among children under age five, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization. And malnutrition is a factor in more than half of children who die after the first month of life, according to the World Health Organization. The risk of a child dying before age five in Africa is the highest, at 76.5 per 1,000 live births. So the question, why are so many children starving? And what can be done? There are many reasons why global hunger is growing, especially among children. Recurring conflicts and fragile community contexts is one. Lack of good governance and adherence to food rights is another one. Malfunctioning food distribution and management systems. These are some of the salient issues that we ought to talk about and debate and come up with solutions if we are to address child hunger. Like many of you here at CCFC, we support the global ambition of ending hunger by 2030 as one of the UN's 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Achieving zero hunger can be met and can lead to eradicating extreme child poverty. But to get there, it's important for us to change the narrative as well. We have to view hunger as a human rights issue. Think about the various declarations, the covenants. For example, it's enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 25.1, the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, Article 11, and General Command 12, and the Convention on the Rights of the Child, Article 24, and the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child, Article 14. Let me just pause for a moment and just say the reason why I have, I have a huge, and CCFC has a huge sense of appreciation for the mandate and the work that ACPF done, does is because of the focus on systematic, systemic issues and structural barriers that inhibit children, that prevent child well-being. Because if we are to really view hunger as a human rights issue, it's imperative that we change the narrative. Children have a fundamental right to food, and states and other institutions have an obligation to provide it. I just want to just take this opportunity to talk about why this partnership that CCFC has with ACPF is so very pivotal, even as we pursue this shared vision. Global actions to end child hunger are not yet sufficient. It is within the capacity of governments and people with, within industrially advanced nations to forge partnerships with African institutions to prevent the deaths of millions of children who are dying from avoidable malnutrition and illness. In this regard, like I said, we are delighted to partner the African Child Policy Forum and jointly pursue child well-being. Our collective efforts will focus on addressing prevention of extreme forms of child violence, enhancing the voice of children and youth, delivering legal protection to orphan and vulnerable children, and advancing child rights and accountability. Can I just pause for a moment, Dr. Bekele, and let me say this about what you're doing, the inspiration that you brought to CCFC, our partners just not in Canada, but globally as well. Here is an organization with a huge sense of credibility in Africa that's able to actually change the narrative globally. Dr. Bekele was with us in Canada a couple of months ago, as he said, and we had a gathering of key stakeholders in Toronto, and they were so inspired by just not the vision of the organization, but the achievements of the organization, going way beyond the narrative to say practical solutions can be pursued to actually focus on the systemic barriers that I alluded to earlier on. Even as it's already been said, almost two billion babies will be born in Africa within the next 35 years. 
Nearly 40% of the world's total will live in Africa by mid-century. If investments are made in healthcare, education, and child protection and participation, these children will have the potential to transform the continent and break the centuries-old cycles of poverty and inequality. At CCFC, we will continue to work with and for the children and youth of Africa to end hunger. We will continue to partner with ACPF and collaborate with other strategic partners to build a brighter future. I look forward to the discussions over the next two days as we challenge ourselves to make a real difference. As like-minded individuals, we must be part of the solution to end child hunger in Africa. No single organization, state, or global body can do this alone. Let's do something great together. Thank you.